This is my first SAP video. In this video, I will be discussing about SAP Introduction for Beginners. SAP is the short form of Systems, Applications and Products in Data Processing. SAP AG was founded in Germany in 1972. SAP is an ERP software. Let's understand what ERP is before we go deeper in SAP. ERP is a short form of Enterprise Resource Planning. Enterprise is another word for business or company. Business needs resources in order to businesses, such as employee, machinery, money, etc. Company needs planning to manage these resources. This planning procedure is called ERP. There are many ERP software packages, such as Oracle, PeopleSoft, Microsoft, J.D. Edwards, Ramico, etc. The simplest way to define ERP is to think about all core processes that are required to run a company such as human resources, manufacturing, supply chain, finance, procurement, etc. ERP integrates these processes into a single system. So SAP is an integrated ERP system. That means if the sales department enters information on the system, this information can be immediately available across the system. This means production and planning will have this information, warehouse management will have this information, and other department too. SAP has two types of modules. One is functional, another one is technical module. There are more than 25 functional modules. However, most common functional modules will be discussing in here. The most common technical modules are ABAP and BASIS. SAP SD, Sales and Distribution is a functional module. It handles all activities related to sales and distribution of an organization. Let's say we have a company called XYZ and it has sales department. Sales department makes a deal with the customers and delivers material to the customers. All these cycles are recorded in SAP SD module. The SD module can be integrated with other modules such as material management, financial accounting, production and planning, etc. The second one is SAP MM module. Here MM stands for material management. Let's say XYZ company has purchased some items from vendor A. Vendor A delivers materials. After that, XYZ company stores it and of course consumes it too. Material management module deals with all activities of procurement, material storage, consumption, and inventory. Material management is a core component of supply chain too. This module can be integrated with other modules such as financial accounting, controlling, sales and distribution, etc. In simple term, anything what comes into your company will be part of this module. The third module is SAP Production and Planning module. Insert SAP PP. This is also a functional module. Let's say XYZ company has a production facility. Planning is key before starting the production. Under this module comes all aspects of planning of production and production of material. SAP PP module can be integrated with other modules too, such as financial accounting, controlling, sales and distribution, plant maintenance, etc. In simple term, whatever XYZ company produces comes under this module. SAP FI Financial and accounting module is a backbone of an organization. All activities which involves money comes under this module. It records all the transactions on a day-to-day basis and generates financial reports as per requirements. It manages financial accounting activities of an organization. In simple term, anything related to money comes under this module. Once the production of the material is completed, before taking to the market, company tests certain parameters. 
of the product as per company or government or international organization standard. This is recorded in SAP QM, Quality Management Module. All types of quality related work that could be for purchased material or production material or sold material comes under this module. SAP SCM, Human Capital Management, is also known as Human Resource Management, SRM module. Anything related to employee will come under this module. It is responsible for managing resources, identify needs and necessity of manpower, employee satisfaction, payroll management, etc. SAP CO controlling module is the part of SAP financial accounting and controlling. SAP CO helps in planning, reporting, managing and monitoring business operations of an organization. Advanced business application programming is a technical module. It deals anything related to SAP programming and basis business application software information system or integrated system. This module deals about if the company want to install brand new SAP or want to upgrade existing SAP, for example, hardware related jobs, operating system related jobs, database, backing up system, etc. Anything related to implementation, upgrade and backing up the systems comes under this module. As I have told before that there are more than 25 functional modules. Not every company implements all these 25 modules. Choose the modules which are demanded on the market and based on your qualification and interest too. For example, if you are interested in programming, a BAP would be the solution. Whereas if you are a finance student, then SAP FI and a CO module would be best match. By the way, SAP HANA is one of the modules that is very popular in these days. This is just a brief introduction about SAP and its modules. Next video will be about SAP Sales and Distribution. It will be a series of videos of SAP ST modules for beginners. It would be more practical than theoretical. If you find this video helpful and want to learn about SAP ST, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.